We all have this negative self-talk that goes in our head. Guess what? There's enough people that are telling us we can't do it, that we're not good enough. Why do we want to tell ourselves that? We know for a fact that thoughts influence actions. We saw it there with the, um, with the video Sheldon, Dr. Levy showed. Right? We know that our thoughts influence actions. Why do we want to say that negative self-talk to ourselves? We need to get our own self-affirmations. Muhammad Ali, what was his self-affirmation? I am the greatest. Who else is going to tell you? There need to be quiet moments in your bedroom, quiet moments when you're brushing your teeth, that we need to reaffirm, I am the captain of my ship and the master of my fate. That is my affirmation. And looking forward to a time that I would feel good again helped me to keep moving forward. And sometimes I had to be brave. And it wasn't always easy. Sometimes I faltered. I had bad days. But I realized that being brave isn't supposed to be easy. And for me, I feel it's the key way to keep moving forward. So, all in all, I don't waste energy feeling bad for myself. I surround myself with people that I want to be with and I keep moving forward. So with this philosophy, I hope that all of you, regardless of your obstacles, can have a very happy life as well. But I am the captain of my ship and the master of my fate. If I don't say it, if I don't believe it, no one else will. How do you build self-confidence? Get away from the people who will tear you down. There's enough of that. Muhammad Ali, I am the greatest. There is no one better than me. It's a difference between hubris and ego and false pride. It's just reminding yourself in quiet, silent moments. I put it down on a list. It's right beside my mirror. Champion of the whole world can whoop every man in Russia, every man in America, every man in China, every man in Japan, every man in Europe, every man in America. The champion of the whole world is some big thing. So I kept working until I did it. <laughs> and not only the champion of the whole world, but better than all of those before me. I'm not going to argue with you. <laughs> You're not as dumb as you look. <laughs> You're going to be just like that. And some of you are already there. Well, you don't know how you're going to make this happen. But you just feel within yourself some way, somehow, with the help of God, I'm going to make it happen. Repeat after me, please. No matter how bad it is, or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. Shake somebody's hand on your right and left and say, you got the right stuff. So, yes, it's possible for you to live your dream. Because it's not about where you come from. It's about heart. You come to a place where, you know, being smart ain't enough. You gotta have heart. That's number one. Watch number two. Number two, catch number two. I wrote it down. I want to make sure you got it. It says, to be, watch this, watch this. We're talking about sacrifice now. The important thing is this. You're right while I'm saying it. Because I only have about three more minutes. Listen to me. The most important thing is this. To be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. That's right. I have wrestled with an alligator. I done tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. That's bad. Only last week, I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. Bad dude. Bad. Fast. 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 Last night, I cut the light off in my bedroom, hit the switch, was in the bed before the room was dark. Incredible. Fast. You, George Fullman, all of you chumps are going to bow when I whoop him. All of you. I know you got him. I know you got him picked. But the man's in trouble. I'm going to show you how great I am.